Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today, Ubiquity released a couple different authentication methods that we could use with our UI single sign-on account. The one major thing is UI Verify, which I have been using for a bit with UID, but now we could tie that in to our single sign-on. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links and I'll put them in the description below. First, if you don't have multi-factor authentication enabled, you really should, and it's easy to do with all these different methods that we have. How to do it, you need to go to account.ui.com and then we need to click under My Security. From My Security, we need to click Unlock Security Settings and then put in our password. Once that's done, we have a bunch of different options. So we have our multi-factor authentication. We could download the UI Verify for a one-tap login authentication. So instead of using that six-digit code, it will push a notification to us where we could accept. We also have a few sign-on settings, so we could have the password, we could change it, and we could have our session timeout. So I'm gonna enable the multi-factor authentication. Here we have UI Verify, that's what they recommend as of this date, or we could do some other methods. We have app authentication, which you could use Google Authenticator or Authy. We have email notification or SMS. We're gonna go ahead and set up UI Verify. All right, now I have my UI Verify opened up and we need to scan this new QR code into it. At the top, it's gonna to be blurred out, but I have a couple others in there for my UID. All I'm gonna do is hit the plus icon and then scan the QR code. Now on the screen, we can see email backup authentication added. Your Ubiquity account email was automatically added as a backup authentication method. This is used to prevent permanent account lockout if you are unable to access your primary authentication device. Now we have UI Verify added. We could add a different authentication method if we'd like. We're just gonna stick to the UI Verify. All right, UI Verify is set up and what you can see on screen right now is just my phone with Instagram pulled up. I'm gonna log into my UDM Pro and we should see a notification from UI Verify. And there you go, we could see that the notification has come through. I blurred out a few things, but I'm gonna say, yes, it's me, and I should be able to log into my UDM Pro. Also, if it doesn't work with the push notification, we could still always put that six digit code in to be able to log in. The same goes for if you're trying to log into unify.ui.com, it will ask you for the code, or you could hit that push notification that will allow you in. All in all, I think it's a great update and it's gonna make people happier as they don't need to copy and paste their six digit key. Again, if you don't have multi-factor authentication enabled, you really wanna do that. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.